Big Ant back with another edition of Urban Politicians to Drop. I uh, appreciate everybody checking us out, man. Stay tuned with us. Today, I had to touch on the safari, man. The safari robbery that happened in the East Coast, either Jersey or New York. I don't know. I think he said Jersey. Uh, and I seen both sides of everything on the internet with this shit. One thing I seen was people making fun of Safari for crime. Me, myself, personally, when he went on Angie Martinez and announced that he got robbed and he started crying or he was already on that crying, I was just like, that's a traumatic experience to go through, you know what I'm saying, especially if you ain't built for that type of shit. Anybody who get robbed, you're going to be shaky, you're going to be nervous, this and this and that. I've been around a robbery before, never robbed nobody, never been robbed personally, but somebody around, I was in a situation in the same spot where somebody was getting robbed at. They wasn't there for me, so I can tell you the shit is nervous as fuck. Like, that shit is nerve-wracking, and you don't know, it's, it's a traumatic experience. The only issue I had with Safari was him going onto the radio station and crying. You know, so I understand you got obligations, you gotta be places. I just felt like, by him going on there and crying, he was kind of opening up the window, you know what I'm saying, of people to judge and the internet to shit on him. And I, it kind of feels like to me just a little bit, and I'm not trying to say because I would hate to be wrong. I would hate to go through that. It kind of feel like he's trying to sell that role of being the victim all the time, and he wants people, he's selling the image like, hey man, I want y'all to feel sorry for me. I'll be there, I don't care. I'll throw my feelings on the table and my emotions on the table because at the end of the day, my goal is for y'all to feel sorry for everything that I go through in life. But on the other side of it, he did say that he was gonna contact the police. He's working with the police. He don't live by these little street rules that dudes be coming up with or the code of the streets, that's not him. He's saying he's a regular guy. The only problem I got with that shit is, in your records, bro, you talking some street shit a little bit. You kind of saying a little fly shit. And you also made threats at Meek Mill saying that you want to fight him and do all this and do all that. Let me tell you something. When you make threats, all rules are off the table. You cross the lines of the street. You don't get to play both sides in situations where, hey, on this day I want to get into some street shit. I want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Fighting is street shit. For these people who don't know no better, there are no rules in fighting. When you throw a threat out there or you throw an accusation out there on some street shit, you now give the person any form of window with which they choose to respond. That's street shit. That's how the street work. So you don't get to talk some street shit on fighting and this and that or against Meek Mill or whoever saying shoot shooters and this and this and that in your records. And then when some street shit happens to you, you go to the police. I want to leave that. I want to leave this whole little video saying this though. And right now, hip hop, there's this epidemic of niggas robbing niggas for their jury, taking niggas chains, getting your chain took, snatched, especially robbed at gunpoint, does not make you a hoe. That does not make me that you took an L because you got you took an L because you got robbed because your stuff got took, so you got to regroup what you lost. But as far as your personality and your character, that does not mean that you are a hoe. Anybody can get robbed, anybody can get touched. Ain't nobody bulletproof. Ask every mob boss that you glorify, every big time drug dealer that you've ever glorified, every gangster that you glorified. They, if they had a real career in the streets, they've all been robbed. That's a part of the game. You're gonna take losses when you want some street shit. And when it comes to rapping, Niggas is reaching for chains for clout. Back in the day, they used to take niggas chains for the money. They would take niggas jury for the money. This right here looked like a robbery for the money because I haven't seen niggas online. They supposedly they caught the niggas, but nobody went online with Safari jury. But as of late, most niggas do go online when they take niggas jury and show, hey, I got that shit. This on me. So really at the end of the day, man, this shit is bullshit. When it comes to taking these chains for clout and shit like that, you don't gotta be ashamed of the shit. Ain't no reason to feel bad, man. Anybody can get got when it comes to robbery. Appreciate y'all checking out the video, man. Y'all search, click, and subscribe. Urban Politicians, we got more content coming. And whenever y'all done, subscribe to the podcast app, man.
Go to your iPhone, it's the purple app. Subscribe to it. If you got a Droid, you got to download the app and then subscribe to it. And then search motherfucking urban politicians, man. Y'all tap in with us.